Hi everyone, it's me again. It's been a very long time, and I should have updated sooner because I had news sooner. Um, but the um, my pap came back. It was normal, so yay. Um, I've since stopped taking the hormones that they gave me because it gave me massive headache, and I mean, I just can't deal with that. Um, so uh, yeah. And I also do my blood work, and that's all normal. Even my blood sugar is, is very good. Um, so I'm excited about that. I have to go back in because it's been three months since they tested, and they like to test me every so often since I am considered still considered diabetic. And <clears throat> so the real reason for this, on um, my Facebookers, hi, I know you guys have been waiting, and I'm a day late. I'm sorry. I tease them all with having them to guess what the good news is. Now, the good news deals with my bariatric surgery, and I got my invite, finally. Um, they had the wrong number, and I had assumed that I was going to get the invite through mail, and they were trying to call me, and they had the wrong number. So I waited for two months, didn't hear anything, contacted my primary physician, and I very politely was like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be a pain, but I haven't heard from them. Do you have a number I can call to stay on top of this? And she's the one that let me know that they've been trying to get a hold of me, so I called Fremont, or I'm sorry, Richmond. I don't know why I get Fremont and Richmond mixed up, but I called Richmond and set up, a, set up the appointment, and they can see me on the 26th of this month. And um, I'll be going down the Monday before, I'll be, um, because I have to be there early in the morning, so it's about, it's going to be about an hour and a half to two hour drive, so, um, I'll be there, um, Monday morning, or, uh, Monday afternoon, so we'll, I'm taking my friend with me, so we'll enjoy the hotel, uh, go swimming, that kind of stuff, and then we'll get up early on Tuesday to go and, um, go to the surgeon's orientation and it's going to be four hours long so it's going to be from 7.30 to about 12.30, 1 o'clock and um, so um, I decided to go ahead and get a hotel room for that day as well considering my car doesn't have air conditioning so we didn't want to drive all the way back without it so um, we had the hotel so we could uh, you know stay if we wanted to stay and then go home that evening or stay the night and go home early in the morning. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I don't have a scale on me, so I don't know how much I weigh. The last time I weighed it was 425, and I'd lost two pounds from 427. So I don't know if I've gone up or if I've gone down, if I've uh, stayed the same. So I ordered a scale from um, Living Large or something like that, where it's a 500 capacity scale. And um, that should be coming in a few days so I can start weighing myself. Um, I've also decided that I didn't really want to walk in weighing more than my last reported weight. I wanted to weigh less or at least at. So um, I'm going on um, a little bit of a crash diet. Now, before anyone says, I know crash diets are a really bad idea because they don't really teach you proper eating. They just lose weight and then afterwards you're kind of left with, oh, how do I eat again, you know? Um, but it's not forever. It's only to lose a few pounds. So I feel more comfortable. Um, and um, so I bought a few things to help me with that. Um, I'm going to show them to you just in case you're um, interested. Um, I got something um, called let's see, Full Fit Bar. It comes in a box like this. Okay. Now, if you're already a bariatric patient, I wouldn't suggest this because, from what I understand, you don't want anything in your stomach that's going to expand. And what this does, this has like a, like a peanut butter stuff on top with a little bit of chocolate or chocolate-like stuff. And um, then the bottom is like these puffed rice, like puffed rice cereal type things. Uh, and they're kind of moist. So obviously when you eat them and then you just drink a full glass of water with it, it expands in your stomach to help with hunger pain. Um, so you're supposed to eat one of these and then a glass of water, wait half an hour and then have your lunch and your dinner. Now, um, the only bad thing about this, you only get four in a box and it's um, like $7. So I just got one box to try. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to use it or maybe I'll use it when I feel like I have a rough day with food or that I'm exceptionally hungry. Um, it only has 4.5 grams of fat. Now, if you're on a low caloric intake, um, it has 180 calories. So, of course, when you plan for your dinner, you're going to have to take these calories into account. 
Um, but I tried one today, and they're fairly big. If you see, like, they're fairly thick. They're fairly, you know, they're not itty-bitty bars. And um, I didn't particularly like the taste. It wasn't necessarily horrible. It was more of the texture I didn't like. But I did find that within 15, 20 minutes of eating it, I wasn't hungry. I was like, oh, wow, I feel pretty good. So I don't know if it would be a good idea to use this as like a meal replacement or a snack or something. Um, but I think there's a lot that you can do. It has like 15 grams of protein. So if you have a hard time getting protein in, or even if you're, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about protein uh, post um uh, but um, protein for a diabetic is really important. You need to make sure you get your protein in because that helps um, stabilize your sugar and process all the other starches and stuff you eat. So I got that to try. And then I got something called Muscle Milk Light. And it's very low in calories. It's uh, pretty good in protein, 10 grams of protein. And it's about, it's a fairly big size. I forgot to bring it out of the refrigerator, sorry. And I'm a huge fan of Crystal Light, so I got some Crystal Light to put in the water because I'm trying to break myself a soda habit too because you can't have soda after surgery. It will um, expand in your stomach and you don't want to stretch your stomach out. So um, I'm trying to get in the habit of Crystal Light. And another thing that I, that I got is called KO2 Protein Water Mix. It's like this. You can get this at Walmart as well. Everything I got here, I got at Walmart. And it wasn't that expensive. It was like $5. And you get 10. 10 of them in here. And um, 30 calories, which is fine. No fat. 5 grams of protein. Now, this isn't going to do much for protein. Um, but I got it to try because I've heard someone who was on the surgery who said that if you're having a little bit hard, a hard time getting protein in and you're just trying to get it wherever you can, that this was a really good choice. So... I got the strawberry kiwi flavor and I thought I'd give it a try to see if I liked it. And I already have protein powder. It's uh, one that a surgeon a few back had recommended. Um, I'm going to try more because I'm not really, I don't really like it. It's it's a little chalky and milky and, or murky, you know, it's not, it's not very good at all. So um, those are the products that I bought that I'm trying. Um, here, um, some tools that I found helpful was everybody has websites they can recommend and everybody, you know, yada, yada. I'm just going to tell you what I found helpful. And I believe um, Tanya Diva had said this in her earlier videos about obesityhelp.com. And I went and I tried it and I actually really like it. It has a place for you to track your food intake, it automatically calculates it for you. You just type in what you what you want. Um, if you say you had Quaker oatmeal, it'll pop up and it'll ask you if it was instant, was it flavored, and it already has the information in there for you. Now let's say you got Quaker peaches and cream and it wasn't in there already, you can just click add and then you can read the back of the box and enter in the information yourself. So that's pretty cool. Um, and the one thing I like about it is that it tracks um, for a while, and you can actually print stuff out. So I kept all my I, oh, I kept all mine in a binder, and I did that because I know that when I go to Kaiser, they're going to ask that I keep a binder, and I will be required to keep it with me and go uh, go everywhere with it. I mean, go to every appointment with it. Now I'm not sure if you can see this, but I will put the uh, URL down. But, oops, see my Kaiser stuff. This right here is what it looks like. It gives you the list of everything you ate, the calories, the sodium, everything that you need. And then up here is the total of the calories. Okay? Now, I would suggest if you're not going on a too crazy diet but you want to diet, is to find out your resting metabolic weight because that will tell you how many calories you need to eat resting to continue, continue to lose weight. And I went into Kaiser and I did that a few months ago. Um, so I have that and let's see, um, uh, if you're on Kaiser, um, I don't know how other websites are and I know that there are tons of websites that have a lot of information out there for, um, for bariatric sur sur you know, surgeries and patients and stuff. Um, but I like using my provider stuff because then I know what their philosophy is. And if you go to Kaiser and you can actually look up uh, 
Richmond's bariatric surgery, and they have just documents upon documents upon documents about information, anywhere from advice to patients seeking bariatrics um, to quality of life and cost uh, cost in the future of bariatrics to um, divorce rate and the risks of divorce in um, after the surgery. So um, I found that helpful, and I would suggest if you're with Kaiser to sign up online and. Um, get that information ready ready and read it. I mean, there's so much literature out there and I think the more prepared you are, the more um, likely you are to succeed. So I know this is super informative and I've talked really fast, um, but I hope that everything was helpful and everything. Um, so this is my binder. I know, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that because I'm not sure if that says, I wanna be successful at weight loss, but I thought it was funny. It says brain cells come and go, but fat cells live forever. So, and then on the back uh, has my, oh, look, this guy right here. His name is Mikey. He's super duper cute. Anyway, he's my idol right now. So that's my binder that I have everything in ready to go um, for um, my first orientation. So I am excited and I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it. You guys wish me luck. So, and on a more positive note, next Thursday on, let me see, what's the day? I believe it's the 15th, but won't swear to it. Uh, yep, next Thursday on the four, well, 15th midnight, Thursday, whatever, is the last 12 p.m. ever, ever showing of Harry Potter. The last movie's out. And look what I got. I got 10 tickets, because 10 of us are going, and we're dressing up. So I haven't quite decided what I want to be this year. I was thinking about being, um... <sighs> A muggle or a, a wizard trying to be muggle again and if you don't know what that looks like I have pictures on my Facebook but I, this year I think I'm gonna be more outrageous so look forward to pictures coming Facebook people and if you're on YouTube thank you so much for watching this and I'm excited that you know it's finally like progressing faster for me so I hope to have an update soon at least around the 26th 27th so bye